guilty? Are you, are you feel bad? You're convicted. Your mind is troubled. That's what conviction is, man. God speaks to the conscience. God reveals oh, his nature. And you see your nature, your sinful nature. And you see that you need to be born again. You see that you need the Holy Spirit to change you, the, the power of God from on high. When you're born again, born from above, there's a transformation that takes place, a resurrection. You're dead in your trespasses and sins, and what does God do? He does a miracle. He does something supernatural. He does something that you can't do. You, you can't change your heart. Only Christ can change you. But when God brings conviction of sin, when God reveals to you and you are guilty of sin, that is good. That is good because God is still, still wooing you. Oh, the hound of heaven that he, that he comes to you through the preaching of the gospel. That's why we're out here talking about the word of God. That's why we're out here and we give you Bible. We, we're not, these aren't our words. These, this isn't my opinion. This is not my idea. No, this, this is what God said. This is what is for sure. This is the rock. That's why we call it the rock of our salvation. We stand firm on something that is immovable, something that is incredible. And words can't even possibly describe it. And here we are talking about the love of God revealed in the cross, the sacrifice, the offering, the one that died in your place, paid your debt, the substitute, the one. It says, I will become sin with all of your sinfulness that you might be made righteous with all of my righteousness. This is what God does. God does this miracle. He, he takes, he takes all of that which you have done, which is wicked, which is vile, which is filthy and unclean and evil and ugly. Oh, and then he gives you beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Oh, the garments of salvation. Oh, your clothes are changed, and now there's newness of life. He puts on you a robe of righteousness and makes you his bride. 